Android is ever changing and ever evolving. And if you play around with it enough, you're sure to find some really cool hidden tricks. Now that's what we do here at Guiding Tech. And we have come up with eight really cool tricks that you can use on your Android phone. So what are we waiting for? This is Abhijit from Guiding Tech. Let's get started. The first tip is about identifying songs or music tracks using your phone, wait for it, without using any app. Yes, you can use the Google Identify Song widget for that. Pretty simple, just tap on the home screen, go to the widget screen, there under Google you will find the Identify Song widget, drag it to your home screen. Next time there is that song playing which you cannot remember, tap on the Google widget and it will show you the song. You can actually look at the details as well and play it on Play Music or YouTube. Cool, isn't it? Next up is using internet or 4G in airplane mode. Now there are times when you are not in the mood of receiving any calls, but you still want to browse the internet on your phone. How to do that? Well, you can do that on Android. On your phone's dialer, type the code star hash star hash 4636 hash star hash star. In the phone info, select the option enable radio. The data services will be enabled in flight mode and you can now access internet without getting any calls. This trick has one caveat though, it does not work on Samsung phones. Well, you will have to ask Samsung that. Now stay on that menu on your phone because that's the menu where we will discuss another trick. Now in the same menu, there is an app called Usage Statistics, which lets you see all the apps which anyone was using on your phone, even if uh, the app was killed using the task killer. You can see all the apps in this list which were used recently. You can sort them by the amount of time each app was used for and when it was last used. Interesting trick to know what your friend was up to when he took your phone from you for a few minutes. The next tip is a pretty cool one, especially if you have a phone with a large screen. Now on Chrome, you must have seen the address bar at the top, which is what you use for to search for anything or go to a website. Now this is slightly inconvenient if the phone's screen is large. Why not have that address bar at the bottom? Well, it's pretty simple. Go to the Chrome flag window and then enable the Google Home option. Chrome will relaunch. You'll have to kill it one more time and launch it again. Voila, the address bar is now at the bottom. Such a simple trick, but it'll make your browsing way more productive, believe me. I'm sure you must have seen those amazing bokehs or the blurs on Pixel phones. Why not have it on your Android as well? Yes, you could get it on the photos which you take from your Android phone. Well, I'm not going to elaborate on that because we did a video on this entire thing. We will link it in the description. Go ahead and check that video if you want your photos to have the same amazing bokeh which you see on Pixel 2 phones. The next tip is about phones running Android Oreo. This is about playing offline videos in the picture-in-picture -picture mode. The first step is to install the VLC Media Player app. After that, once it's installed, go to the Oreo settings and there you will see picture-in-picture -picture settings. You need to make sure that it is enabled for your device. After that, go to the VLC app and there also you will see the same setting, picture-in-picture -picture setting and enable it. Next time you play a video on VLC, just tap on the home button and the video will start playing in that picture-in-picture -picture mode. There are times when your Android might have trouble connecting to the internet using Wi-Fi, but you need the internet desperately. What to do then? Well, your friends might be able to help you. If they have an Android, you can actually get internet from them using Bluetooth internet tethering. First of all, you'll have to pair both the devices using Bluetooth and enable Bluetooth tethering on the host Android. On the receiver Android, you will have to go to Bluetooth settings, tap on the settings button next to host, and enable Bluetooth internet connectivity. Mobile data is getting cheaper day by day, so why not make the most of it? If your Wi-Fi connection isn't very strong, you can have your phone automatically switch to the mobile data. This is called smarter Wi-Fi or adaptive Wi-Fi in Android. It is available in advanced Wi-Fi settings. Just tap on the respective button. Next time your Wi-Fi connection is not that strong, it will automatically switch to 4G. So friends, those were some of the really cool Android tricks that you could try. Let us know which one you loved. Let us know the new tricks you discovered. We'll wait for your comments. 
Don't forget to subscribe to Guiding Tech, like this video and also share it with your friends who use an Android phone. So Abhijit saying goodbye. See you.